Okay, the next step in the project is to create our um, Puzzle Cube Exploded View Drawing and Parts List. All right, and to do so, I'm just going to leave this file open for a moment, and I'm going to click on the new icon, and um, go into my templates. So when you go into templates, um, these uh, drawing files will probably be under the English folder and we're going to use a Shoemaker Campus C size document. We're going to click Create. I'm going to add our project name, which is Puzzle Cube. And your name. And you don't necessarily have to put your class period. And the part name, I'm going to call this Exploded View. Click OK. All right, so now we have our C size document and we're ready to place our puzzle cube. Uh, we're going to place it from the presentation file. So we'll click on base and we already have the presentation right here. .ipn, that's our presentation file. And I'm hovering over my page to place my cube pieces and I'm just going to click somewhere. I'm going to left click. Then I'm going to right click and select OK. Now one thing I should have done is I should have colored this while I was already in that dialog box. I'm just going to open it back up and click Solid and OK. Um, let's see. Alright, so this is my drawing of my puzzle cube. You might want to adjust its location on the screen. This is already your parts, and these are your uh, leader lines that kind of show you how this thing goes together. And of course, this portion is not going to be animated. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to put a parts list. I'm going to put a parts list right down here in the bottom left hand corner. So I go to annotate, up to the annotate tab, and then go over here to the table panel, and I click on parts list. All right, now it's already got my Puzzle Cube folder selected, and automatically it's going to know what parts that I have in this. And of course, when you get this window, just click OK. There's my parts list. I'm going to place it right there in the corner. As we zoom in on it, you can see that all my parts are already there. That's the intelligence that's already worked into the software. All right. Next thing I want to do is, uh, you see the part numbers itemed 1 through 5. I'm going to actually put some bubbles on um, these parts to point to each part and indicate which part that it is. And I'm going to do this again up in the table panel. I'm going to click balloon. And I'm going to simply click on the part, like on the line. See how the um, part highlights when I do that? Uh, but if I hover away from it, or if I hover on the part itself, I want to hover right here over the line. I'm going to click, extend my balloon. Okay, and you don't want to extend a straight line or a vertical, vertical or horizontal line. Okay, because then it'll get confused. It could get confused with these other part lines. So we kind of use a different angle to make sure that they stand out. And of course, never cross these lines like this. Don't cross these lines. Put your bubble clearly out to the side. Okay, and then you left click to place it, and then you right click to click to select continue. Go down to your next part, highlight the edges, left click, pull it out to the side, left click again, then right click and continue. Green part, click. Left click, right click, continue. Okay, yellow piece. Remember, I don't want to cross any of my lines, so I'm not going to take this yellow bubble up here. Okay, I'm going to go down here to the bottom. Left click, and then continue. Left click, pull my bubble out, turn my balloon. Left click, right click, and continue. All right, so now I have bubbles placed on all of my parts. And when someone looks at the sheet, um, get a closer view here, you see they are numbered appropriately with the original part numbers as they appear down in the parts list.
Okay. Now I'm all done. Just want to save my work. And uh, it's, I'm just going to leave it the same name. It'll have a different file extension so it won't get mixed up with the others. Yes to all and OK. And there we have our Puzzle Cube Exploded View Drawing and Parts List.